Twitch, <laughs> you amaze me because you're not an animator. Uh, people don't realize that in hip hop, there's so many different styles. You've worked so hard at that. Thank you for that. How I prepared was watching lots of videos and I practiced with a guy named Mad Chad and also Frantic. Um, those guys really helped me out with techniques to kind of help me and practice on when I was at home because, uh, you know, this is Cyrus's style. But uh, I, I actually love every minute of it. I love to work hard. So it, it's just, uh, it, it was great to get up there and do my thing. It's always so great to see you, Will. You just seem to get better too. Every single time I see you dance, the two of you together is a perfect partnership made in heaven. Oh my goodness, you know, I was in season four, so to come back after five years was just, it was the most incredible feeling. And especially to get a piece like the one that Sonya choreographed tonight about just taking advantage of the actual moment and enjoying yourself. So it was, it was so many emotions, I can't even find the words. It was just magical. I'm very happy. I think Tiffany has the potential to win this show. She is a firecracker. She has that thing you can't teach. She has that quality you can't pay money for. And when you watch her dance, you just you love it. You know, you're happy. It makes you feel good. So I think Tiffany has a very, very good chance of winning this show. He's free at last, Nigel. Free at last! You're having the performance again. You just keep growing and growing. We both together, Stacy and I, really dove into Keon and like really made him make this story real for him, you know? And it was such a journey. I mean, oh my God, there's so many ups and downs with doing that because it gets you very emotional. Like you have to tap into your own personal experiences or make them feel like they're real or maybe you actually did it to someone else. So whatever it is, like it's our job to really make them understand what they're dancing for. Allison should be an actress, shouldn't she? No question. It's definitely something I'm interested in. Um, I would love to be an actress. Um, I've trained in it and dabbled in it a little bit. Um, my first um, job of being an actor was for a film called Kobu 3D. It has not been released yet. They're hoping to release it next year, but that would have been my first, like, mark as, like, just acting, not just being hired as a TV personality. So it's very exciting for me. Um, and then also, I would love to do more projects, you know. As of right now, it hasn't been that available because I'm so busy with dance, which is fantastic, but I would love to make more of a point of doing that in my future. Well, and Alex, you're such a gorgeous partner, yes. but what's so fantastic is you're you're so connected, you know, and that you just got lost in it. Yeah, um, so nice to dance with her just because we kind of come from a similar background. So we approach things from a similar point of view and we get along really well. So in the studio, we're just crazy. And to have two belly dancers there, I just, I, I feel like sort of I, it, it's my responsibility a little bit to mentor them and help them acclimate to the show because it is really different when you don't get to um, warm up the same way that we're used to warming up. No, um, I, was, I was actually feeling really good when I heard my myself. Um, I think it was just, um, I was doing some crazy jumps and I, I feel like my Achilles were, they must have, they were supposed to snap, you know, because a year later I hadn't done those jumps and I did it again and it snapped on the other side and so I'm just happy it's even. <laughs> Um, after the show, I went to New York and I did a Broadway contract in the Heights for a little while. I had a principal role there, yeah, so that was great. And uh, then I, uh, I've been working with Mia Michaels very closely. I've been like her right-hand assistant for a couple of pieces she's done on the show and a couple of other things she has going on. And I uh, went to film school for a while, so a little bit of dance, a little bit of film, a little bit of choreography. The, the auditions for movies and things like that are going to keep rolling. Uh, I'm, I'm going to be teaching as this fall season comes up. I'll be teaching on a convention named 24-7 and XL in Motion, and I'll be making guest appearances at a competition named Le Next Level Dance. So check those out on Facebook, Twitter, Next Level Dance, 24-7, and XL in Motion. I'll be out there teaching. I love to teach. Come get down with me. Come dance. Later this fall, I'll be helping to choreograph a couple numbers and dance with the stars with Derek Koff. So me and him love to collaborate our styles. Um, we, we've performed together, so hopefully we might do another one. So we'll see. I'm actually going to China. I have a gig there to launch um, a, a new car. And then um, I think I'm going to Africa. And you know, I have uh, pretty exciting things lined up. So uh, I'm excited. And I'm kind of out here in LA, you know, working the scene. Oh my goodness, uh, the show itself does so much for your career because it, it sets you up, one, for working with some of the most talented choreographers in the world. So that takes years to do without So You Think, to get in a room with those people. So you build those relationships. If you have good work ethic, if you're a nice person to work with, if you, you, know, you go out there and give it your all, those relationships continue. And for us, I mean, you can't ask for anything more because then after the show is over and that bubble pops, you can still keep working. You know what I mean?